You know, in Nigeria, when we say gas to power, it portrays that things happen seamlessly. It doesn't. Uh, today, the weak link is still the power sector. There was an argument at the last gas conference whether the chain exists or the chain is broken. I think we left knowing that the chain really never existed. If that liquidity problem starting from the, the discos primarily is resolved, then I think that anybody coming into the market would enjoy being part of the power solution for Nigeria. The sector in general has, been, has not been adequately invested in uh, transmission, generation, distribution. Uh, Nigeria ranks, if I recall the numbers specifically, I think 178th among countries in the world in terms of per capita consumption of electricity. If our economy is to compare and our GDP the same, so the transmission network has to carry that. We have to solve the transmission bottleneck in Nigeria. And there are many ways of doing it. We preach this mantra that we are not competitors. We must be complementers. We must look for where we can share value. This is the only way, commercially, we can both light up the continent and profit from it. One of the major issues we've seen is with the distribution companies known as the discos locally in terms of their collections of revenue. We've seen many leakages on that side. And so there needs to be ways to guarantee and help them collect revenues more efficiently, more transparently. But I think it's fair to say that there's no single stakeholder that can meet all the requirements and it needs to be a collective effort. The regulation today is not helping investors. To them, it's a red flag in their risk management. I believe the opportunity is huge if government can just be proactive and do things according to what the industry demand is. The issue is still, if we can get the pricing right, then you'd see a lot more investment. Because companies have actually been investing. I mean, Total just finished a huge gas pipeline recently. Um, Oando is looking at building a gas processing plant. Even the NMPC is saying, look, we're also going to invest in one gas processing plant as well. So there's a huge opportunity there. Because if you can bring it out, there are companies that need the gas, that are looking for the gas. We need to be able to plan, install, and operate our facilities at full capacity. And that's what we're hoping that if the right policy initiatives are implemented properly with the engagement that is going on with government now, in the next few years, we're hoping to ramp up to that 200 million and stay there, at least till the field cannot sustain that level of production any longer. And that will be a good thing for Nigeria.